Big shout out to SWA Autosports for sponsoring this video. I'll talk to you a little bit more about them later on, but from SWA Autosports, Blue, Black Diamond, and my family to yours, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Blue the Red Nose Civic had a very shiny nose. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, welcome back to the channel for another video. A couple videos ago, I replaced this upper grill with a gloss black SI looking type grill, and I had this lower grill painted gloss black. Well now, they have come out with a type R looking gloss black lower grill. They have two versions, one's a European version and one's a US version. Now obviously I have the US version, so if you have to run a license plate on the front of your car, here you go, there's some holes. Now myself, I don't really care for this part of the front grill. I actually don't need it because I don't have to run a license plate in the front. But I'm gonna throw it in, see what it looks like. If I like it, I'll keep it in. If I don't, I'll just take it out. I constantly hear people asking, what's the best phone mount for this car? SWA Autosports has one. We're gonna test it out today. And then a couple weeks ago, SWA Autosports sent me the four-piece Yofer front lip. Now the passenger side didn't fit very well. Now that was on the car, but seeing that I'm gonna have to take the bumper off again, I figure, you know what? I'll try it again. Maybe it'll fit better off the car. I don't know, we'll see. December is the month of giving. And on my channel, every video I post in December, I give away something. This will most likely be my last upload for December. So I decided to give away one massive giveaway. Blue's trunk is full of parts. One of you is gonna win it all. So make sure to stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what's in the trunk and how you can enter to win it. Now it's time to remove the bumper off this car one more time. I hope this is the last time I have to remove this bumper. Cause I'm telling you, I've probably done it 15, 20 times already. Now yours will have screws for whatever reason. My body guy must have lost the screw and put a bolt up here. But yours will be a Phillips head screw. The bumper's off, I gotta remove that rubber piece and that rubber piece and they're held on by two Phillips head screws. Now after looking at it, I actually have to take the front lip off because my front lip goes over top of the lower part of the grill. So remember I told you my front lip was busted? Yeah. Look at a big chunk taken there. Humongous crack here, the whole way down there. And then on this side, there's a big crack right here. But other than that, it's not too bad. And then a really big scuffs down through there. Now 
I have two screws to remove, one here and one here, and then a bunch of tabs the whole way up around. Well, after messing with it and messing with it and messing with it, looks like I gotta remove the fog light fillers to get this grill out. Okay, so I ran into a problem. These tabs here need to be down here. That's where the holes are in the bumper. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna cut these tabs off and see if these tabs will fit in the holes. These actually should be just a little bit longer too. I'm gonna give it a whirl. Talk to Han at SWA Autosports. He removed this from his website. There's too many things that you have to modify to get this to fit properly. As you guys saw, I cut those tabs off at the top with the license plate. They need to be about an inch lower. And then pushing these tabs in, I mean, you have to push extremely hard and then you have to push these tabs down to try to get them to fit in the hole. This one fits okay. This one's okay. This one's actually really good. There are none up here. This one's really good, this one's okay, and this one's okay. But the helper is these screws that hold these in down here. Then onto the front, as you can see, there is a pretty decent gap right here. It's about half an inch. Now, if you already have a license plate on the front of your car, since you already have holes, you could put two screws in these two holes right here. When you go to put your license plate on, these are barely gonna fit. You're gonna have to go right here to the edge and I mean right here to the edge. Now again, Han did remove this from his website until we can find one that fits the US models properly. But if this is something that you're still interested in, you can reach out to him directly on Instagram, at KPU, and he'll hook you up for an even cheaper price. All right, I'm gonna rock this grill for a little while. Hopefully it stays in. But before we put the bumper back on, I'm gonna put this yo for one piece on. It didn't really fit when I tried to put it on with the bumper on the car. So I'm actually gonna screw everything together first and then try to put it on. Han told me that was probably the best way to do it. So I'm gonna take his advice and give it a whirl. Came with a bunch of these little screws. We gotta put them in all these little holes. And I do have the blue one underneath here. And just like that, they're tight. All but these two and these two on the ends. Because then I need to take these, slide them in up underneath, and then screw those in. So this is the difference between the one piece in the back and the four piece in the front. What do you guys think? A little more black on the four piece, a little bit more blue on the one piece. Now I gotta throw some double-sided tape on her. The tape is on. Now it's time for everybody's favorite part of the video, peel porn. I'm an idiot. I did not record myself peeling the back of the tape off. So, unfortunately, no peel porn. 
All right, I'm gonna try to put this on while the bumper is off the car. Something tells me it's not gonna be that easy. I got the lip on there, but let me tell you something. That is a very, very tight fitment. There was no way I was doing it with the bumper on the car. I had to finagle it so much to get it on there, but it's on. Now I did run seven other screws up underneath to hold the front lip on because the double-sided tape just wasn't holding it. But before I show it to you on the car, let's check out this phone mount. All right, this is the phone mount. It goes right here. It is double-sided taped, and I guess I do have some peel porn for you. Now before I put this on, I'm gonna install this little ball. It slides right up in here. Like that. And then what we'll do is we will... A nice warm day would be really good to do this. It's like negative seven degrees outside right now, so I'm in the shop. It's probably 70 degrees in here or so, so it should be good enough. I'm just gonna hold it there. Let that tape it heed. Here's the mount piece. On the back here is where you push it onto the ball and then you tighten this up. And then when you raise up and down on it, the sides go in and out. It does kind of block a little bit of the screen right here of the radio, but for me, I don't care about that. That matters to me, none. Pretty cool, I like it, I like it a lot. And they just don't deal with phone mounts. As many of you know, they are my number one stop shop for 11th gen Civic parts. I've gotten the upper grill, now the lower grill, now the front lip, the diffuser, the headlights, the taillights, the fenders, and now a phone mount. And make sure to go to the website and check it out www.swaautosports.com and another big shout out to them for sponsoring this video. Now it's time for the moment that you have all been waiting for. Let's see what's in the trunk. Ta-da! I told you there was a lot of stuff in here. First thing, a trunk storage organizer. A set of Alpine six and a half SS65s coaxial two-way speakers that fit in either the front doors or the rear doors. A set of Icon rain guards. A gloss black antenna cover. Gloss black door handle covers. A sunglass holder clip. A front license plate relocator. A screen cover. The cup holder hero with the blue trim. A set of door sill stickers. A car cover. Carbon steering wheel trim piece carbon door panel window trim pieces for all four doors. And this is courtesy of Effie.Isaac. And then last but not least, a special wrap package. And I think you'll really like it, especially if you like chocolate. Now, if you wanna take part in this massive giveaway, you gotta do three things as always. Number one, you gotta be a subscriber. Number two, you gotta leave a like on this video. And number three, you gotta leave a comment in the comment section saying, happy holidays to all. Now it's time for me to show you what the front of blue looks like. Let me know what you think about her in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. And as always, this was your boy Miller. I'll see you next year.